Welcome back to the channel. This video is by special request. Someone wanted me to kind of go back through and identify some of these citrus, the difference between the different citrus and identify them by their leaves. First of all, I'm going to tell you that it is very difficult, but this will put you in a ball right in the ballpark range to let you know what type of citrus tree you have by looking at the leaves. Now I took a collection. I have another video that I'll link in this video too where I went over other um, citrus tree leaves too as well, where I identified them. And this is the, some of the variety that I have. So here, this one right here, just by looking at it, look at the um, actual edges, the shape of it. You definitely can identify it being a citrus, but notice at the bottom, it's, it's nothing there. It's, it's slender and it has little jagged edges right here. This right here is a tangerine leaf. So what we're going to do, we're going to compare each one. Now this huge leaf right here, it tells me that it's going to bear big fruit. Look at it in comparison to a tangerine leaf. Look how small it is. This is a palmella. That heart is a signature for, you see that heart right there? That's signature for a palmella. It's a big leaf. It's nice and smooth. Don't really have any jagged edges on the, on the edge. Now you do have hybrids. Uh, the palmella is what they call one of the mother founding plants of citrus. And a lot of plants derive from, based on this citrus. So this right here is very similar to the palmella. You can tell that this fruit came from the palmella. This particular fruit is smaller, quite smaller, but it's pretty much shaped. It has a heart. It's not as defined. The palmella will have a real defined, and it's, and it's larger than the average. This is a grapefruit. Very similar. They're very similar. The grapefruit, from what I've told, it was designed to be sweeter and more fruit than a palmella. More juice, produce more juice. Now this fellow right here, we have, once again, a little small heart, not as large, not as big, but this is an orange. It has a little bit more striations here, a little bit more jagged edges in comparison, but you see how wider it is? And then also look at the coloration. A lot of times you'll see the coloration will be a little bit lighter. But this is an orange here. Now these two are the same but from different plants. These are lime. they just different size. Look how sharp and how like a like an arrow point, an arrowhead point that these leaves are. Very similar to the um, lemons as well. But this one has a little jagged edge. Not as smooth, not as round, but it looks like an arrow, like a torpedo, like an arrow shoot away. So look at all of these, and this is the same as this. But look at the comparisons. You have the lime, you have the orange, you have the tangerine, you have your grapefruit, then you got your pomelo. So that's just a comparison. Let me try to get you a little bit closer. See palmella, shiny, smooth, smooth edges, not really jagged. Grapefruit, a little bit more jagged edges, ripples in there. Still got the heart, but quite smaller. And then once again, have your tangerine, a little bit jaggeder edges. And you have your orange. It's longer. The heart is stretched out a little bit longer than these. It's leaner. And it has a little bit of a jagged edge too on the, on the edge of the plant. Then you have your lime. Long and keen. Almost like an arrowhead. Now let me show you something that is 
frightening to me that I seen this morning when I was harvesting these um, leaves. Now, <clears throat> this is bittersweet, really. I love nature, and but I love my citrus. And if you notice, whenever you see plants like this, you see all this eating, your citrus, all these bite marks, you're going to go around your plant. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to go around your plant, and you're going to see something that looks like bird droppings. All right, you see that right there? Look like bird dropping, bird poop. This is not bird poop. This is a caterpillar. Now let me show you a gigantic one. This plant is riddled with them. They're tearing my plant up. Look right there. If you look closely, it looks like a piece of the stick. It's not a piece of the stick. It's a caterpillar. This caterpillar, the reason why it's bittersweet, it produces a beautiful butterfly. I mean, simply beautiful butterfly. But I can't, I can't have this. this. Look, when I tell you it's riddled with them, look at that one. Look at that one right there, looking at me. He kicked back up and looking at me. I mean, it's straight taunting me. You see it moving? So, we're going to have to get rid of these. Gonna have to get rid of you. Um, when I tell you this tree is full of them, I can work my way all the way around this small tree. And I can see them in different locations. Now when you, if you just smash them, they smell like citrus. But we're gonna let the chickens have their way. Okay? Look at that big joker there. Yeah, this little fella you do not want. Do not want this on your citrus plant. Check out this centennial kumquat. Very small, slender leaves. This particular plant. It is variegated. So that means it has these hints of yellow tones to it. It's already trying to do fruit. And this is very hardy and resilient. I love this plant. It's little no nonsense. Most citrus don't require a lot of maintenance period, but this one can take harsh colds. It survived the snow. It, I didn't really have to cover it up. It survived the heat, a little bit of everything. It's very resilient, it's very strong. Um, very disease resistant in my area. Pests get on them, a little bit of this and that gets on them, but it still keep producing year after year after year. Very satisfied with this plant here. All right, year three out here on the property. All these are still young plants. Uh, this right here is my line. You did have snow. Y'all remember they were sticks, nothing to them. We got new growth growing on all over the place. Um, after the snow hit it, it, was, it broke it down all the way to like this all the way over. But we got growth that's popping up all over these plants. They're coming back after uh, Florida snow. And this one is an orange. Yeah, grass hop off of it. Um, got quite a few bugs. Don't try to run from me. Don't try to run from me. Yeah, he dropped down there. Get off my plant. Um, that one was nothing but a stick. It's starting to come back. Uh, let's see. I got some grapefruits over there as well as over there. That citrus over there is starting to come back. I got citrus all up there. Got citrus back over here. Um, these are orange and tangerine. And throughout the nature trails, throughout the property, got citrus a little bit everywhere. Got over 30 citrus out here. 
and we're still gonna probably plant some more too.